I'm Helena from Ethernet, Minister of Education. I will just make a few presentations about Ethernet, a very short presentation. About National Research Education Network is a service provider serving only educational institutions or universities. It offers uh, the highest bandwidth or connectivity. Uh, it's not a business oriented, it's not for commercial purpose. It's becoming very important that to be a member of National Research Education Network uh, to easily get access of either regional and national uh, global digital resources. It's independent of the commercial service provider. We have two types of service providers. The one is commercial, the other is like NERN, National Research Education Network. The hierarchy is like this. We have universities, they have to be connected to regional research education network, to national research education network. Then National Research Education Network will connect these universities to the other regional and global research education network. About Ethernet, Ethernet is a national research and ed education network which is under Ministry of Education. Uh, currently m around 36 universities have been connected to Ethernet network. Our backbone network is 40 gigabits <coughs> and each universities are directly connected with 10 gigabit access, each interface is bandwidth is 10 gigabit. The optical fiber, but the optical backbone is built on highly reliable OPGW and ADSS on e EEU LPAS high voltage lines. Total investment is around 1.2 billion per. Uh, the exchange point or our internet gateway is at Ethernet data center located in Addis Ababa. This helps us to, be, to pair with neighboring national research education network like, like mm, Sudanese, Kenya Kenet, and Somali Renan research education network and ultimately will connect us to, connect us to Ubuntu Net. Ubuntu Net again will connect us to global research education network. Ubuntu Net is the East African research and education network. Through Ubuntu Net we will be connected to Kenet, uh, Somali, these are the regional, uh, regional research education network. This uh, East, Africa regional, East African Research Education Network. So through Ubuntu Net, we will be connected to both regional and uh, global research education network. We are currently member of Ubuntu Net Alliance. Uh, this is the Ethernet topology. Ethernet topology, Ethernet infrastructure is based on three layers. We have the edge layer, the aggregate layer, and the backbone layer. Here we have around 36 routers located inside uh, each university's data center. Uh, and we have uh, six aggregate routers. The purpose of these edge routers is to as entry point for the universities. So through this, through this uh, gate, this is as a gateway for the universities. Through this uh, edge layers, universities will be connected to the other regional and again to the other universities. It's like a local area network. Here we have six aggregate routers. They forward traffic between our backbone network and the other universities. These two, ex two routers are EPR, external peering routers or <coughs> backbone routers. So the layer is like this, the edge, the edge layer. This is the aggregate layer. This is the backbone layer. So whether there is internet access or they, whether there is or not, still universities can get resources of the other universities. All universities might not have the capacity to connect with 10, 10 gigabit interface. So Ethernet has provided one layer three network device. So if they don't have the 10 G uh, network device which has 10 gigabit interface, they can use these layer three devices as a bridge. With one gigabit interface, when they will be connected to Ethernet network with this edge, uh, with this uh, layer three device. Most third generation and second and fourth generation generation universities, they are still building a data center. Service provided by Ethernet, we we provide technical support in all areas of ICT for public higher educations, training, project management, and consulting. Mm, well, with coordinating MCIT, INSA, and ETO Telecom. Highly available data center facility equipped with NOC, Network Operation Center. 
Ethernet is about to start a private cloud project called Edu Cloud. This cloud service will provide email, DNS, and web hosting based on place, place platform. Uh, at the start, 14 universities with expansion with uh, the future expansion capability to more than 36 universities. It's based on Chain Cloud, and it has software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Sir, uh, or these three are services provided by the Chain Cloud platform. And also, thank you to the Professor Roberto's team. We have uh, the, the Nadri service. They will tell you more about the Nadri service. And the Nadri service is hosted inside our data center. Uh, it includes the online learning platform and the agenda, the forum. We also host the national entry ex uh, entrance exam every year in video conferencing. Freely opened IST academies like Huawei, Oracle, Microsoft, and Cisco, which helps students to get industry knowledge. Ethernet Phase 2 project will add more, more than 50 higher educations, and it will be mesh transmission. It will mig fully migrate to OPGW, uh, redundancy. Before, like I showed earlier, there were six aggregate routers. This uh, aggregate routers, routers will be added to each to to two in, in, in each uh, cities. So th there will be around 12. It's like this on phase two project, 11 new universities plus Black, Li Black Lion Medical College and Paulus uh, Medi uh, Millennium Medical College. These are the meshed uh, infrastructure. Previously, there were one aggregate routers, one. Now there are two more added aggregate routers. Thank you.